Hobbes essentially tried to reduce everything to um, the quest for self-preservation. Um, whereas uh, Locke um, argued that, yes, I mean, we do um, try to preserve ourselves, and that's a good thing, because it, it's good for us to love ourselves, and you know, we express that by, by, by eating food and, and not walking in front of cars and so forth. But uh, he also acknowledged that we also try to preserve other people. Uh, and we are, as Augustine put it, um, social uh, creatures. And that's why we live in, in families. That's why we get married. That's why we uh, engage in political society. And so there is a fundamental difference in um, Hobbes was you know, one of the, among the earliest to argue that there's only one decision. And that's, and we've already made it, that we're, we're all number one. And, uh, and everything flows from that, whereas the scholastic tradition in which uh, Locke stands, um, recognizing that, yes, uh, we do express our uh, rationality through exchanges, but we also express our nationality through a gift. The, the expression of love with a gift is also a very rational um, um, act. And uh, that's why shrinking all human interactions to exchange alone uh, really just doesn't cover the facts because it leaves out so much of life.